Welcome. This is episode six or five B or five C of the Scott Allen creative log. Cause we're continuing the episode from two videos ago. <laughs> Make sure to check out our previous videos. I'm Jason Brewer, one of the hosts here, one of the people on staff with Scott Allen creative, the founder and my boss, Jeff Terpstra, also with Scott Allen creative. Thank you for joining us. In the previous videos, we've been talking about prioritizing the needs of an organization in order to develop a marketing plan. And we started associating that with a home budget. And you shared how the recession hit a number of years ago. You are a business owner. And when the recession hit, it devastated your business and ultimately affected your, your household. And you and your wife said, we need to prioritize what is going to allow us, you, your wife, and your 11 children to survive. We have to do that for our organizations, for nonprofits to say the tier one is survival. Mm -hmm. What is it going to take to just simply keep the lights on and keep us running? And then you went to tier two, which is strengthening that that budget and, and allowing you to kind of go, all right, the maintenance or the things that are allowing us to expand a little bit further. And then tier three was growth, growing your organization. And you may find yourself in one of those three tiers. Mm -hmm. But a question that, that comes to mind when I, I hear you say, you know, you have to have survival, tier one. How do you pitch to a donor, a potential donor or a donor, hey, give to our organization so that we can give, keep our lights on and keep us running. It, it's not the sexy thing. It's not, it's not moving the heart towards the cause. So how do, you, how do you, as a marketer or development team, pitch to donors when you're in survival mode? I think this is the, one of the greatest challenges that nonprofits face period. Because as you know too well, so many funding agents are giving toward programming. And that's, that's, that's amazing, that's, that's awesome. But there aren't enough corporate foundations, family foundations, major philanthropists who understand the need to give to overhead and marketing. Basically, when you look at a nonprofit as a three-legged stool, you have management, all your admin stuff, IT, HR, that's the first leg. Mission is, is another leg, their second leg. And then marketing is, is your third leg. And it's so hard sometimes for nonprofits to be able to pay their people well or to grow and invest in marketing because the funding isn't there for those two other areas, right? You know, we care deeply about how people are treated within the nonprofit, but too many are not paid enough. And then too many nonprofits don't have funding for marketing and then they, they struggle, right? So the key, number one, my hope and prayer is that, that that changes, that we will see a movement of change in the industry for corporate foundations, major philanthropists, family foundations to say, hey, we're gonna give you 100,000 for your programming needs, but 20,000 of that is going to be for the other two legs. You know, that kind of example where it's always that blend. But until then, what we encourage you to do is try to look at your current donor base, whether you have 20 major donors or 200 major donors, and look at those people who may be business people, business owners. They understand operations. They understand cost of running a, a business, running an organization, and they understand marketing and how to, that they need to invest in marketing or you can't grow. So have personal conversations with those donors and find out if they're interested. We've had donors give $30,000 to a video or donors who have given $37,000 to rebrand and do a, build a new website. They're out there, they're hard to find, but they are, they are out there. One of the suggestions even would be you have your donor base and you go and approach the donors that already have bought in. 
to the organization. That, that's what I meant. Absolutely, Jason. You know, you, that's critical. You don't have to pitch it to them about your cause. That's right. But essentially, they're bought in and they have the means. And you're not approaching new donors. You're not sending out a mass mailing, mass email campaign saying, hey, give to this organization so that we can keep the lights on or whatever it may be. Those, those tier one survival needs, you're approaching major donors individually and saying, this is a, a strong need that we have. And would you be willing to take upon yourself to handle the unsexiness of the organization, which is the admin aspect, the, the utilities, the things that keep us going and keep us alive. And so our suggestion as we wrap up this second step of developing a marketing plan is and prioritizing those needs is look at your needs and there's a long list and what are the two to three priorities that you need to focus on and then allow the other needs to maybe be on the futures list when you are able to strengthen your your organization or or grow your your organization what can you outsource what can be done by other people and be delegated to and so again we thank you for joining us you have another thought I, I do jason and i know we're way over time from what we want to be for the length of these videos but i just wanted to say one more thing because it, this is so critical uh we we witnessed this year a nonprofit that was raising money for a capital campaign in the meantime, their annual fund is bleeding and they're literally $270,000 in the hole. And what we've encouraged them to do and what they're finally doing now is, is telling their, all of their donor base to keep serving the people that we're serving. We do need support for annual fund. And, and please don't make that mistake of asking money for building new buildings and not take care of your annual fund first. That, that's, that's obvious. I, I think maybe I should be called Captain Obvious <laughs> because I feel like I'm always sharing the obvious. I don't know how insightful it is. That's obvious. You shouldn't have shared that. Anyway. <laughs> well, that's interesting because it seems obvious to you, but why are people not doing the obvious sometimes? And, and, and so it, it may seem obvious to some of you that are watching this, but others are like, I don't focus on the obvious. I'm reactionary, whatever it may be. And so I'm about to land the plane. Yep, land. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, your passion is our inspiration. And if you wanna tell us, comment, what is your passion? Tell us what topic that you want to discuss in the marketing world for nonprofits. We'd love to hear from you, but again, thank you for your time. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs>